Hi, this is Cyprian from F4, and we'll talk about colors today. So, the first time you run Salome Mechan, you do analysis. So, for example, this plate that I showed you in another tutorial, your colors will be very uh, linear like that. So, very uh, how to say? Well, some people like this this kind of gradient view, but I definitely don't. I prefer very definite areas so it's easy to view right away where are the problems inside your model. So how do I change the colors? Uh, well, the first thing is to get access to the color map editor which is uh, here. So if um, you don't have it here because the interface of Paravis can be totally customized as you want. For example, I could take this. Uh, I could take this off like that and I could put it on this position or I could take it and put it at, at the bottom. Well, it can be totally uh, customized where you want. But uh, first it should be activated. So you go in the views and windows and here you have all the kind of views that are accessible in Paravis uh, and you just activate the color map editor. So that's where you want to go to. Uh, to touch the colors so let's um, let's take a look so there's a lot of options so first of all the mapping data um, but let me show you right away how to change this nasty color into a 12 color range okay this is much better uh, and this is my default view for the colors because I like to to see this kind of uh, of gradient, no, not gradient, but how, how, would you, how do we call that? I don't know. Anyway, so this is the, um, the first way, very easy. You change the number of color and it's at the bottom of the color map editor. Very easy. Now, what if you want to change the range of color? Well, you see that on this map, at the right, you have a series of small buttons that will uh, help you to interact with the colors. So you can rescale to data range. So if I click here, nothing happened because I've already rescale. I'm already uh, in the default. So rescale to custom range. So here you see it's very important. You can rescale the legend to uh, the amount you want. So for example, here I'm from 1.4 minus 24. So I can set it at zero, right? And here uh, I'm at 1.5. So if I want to set it at let's say 0 0.5 here I can rescale you see that I'm getting a more um, skewed view of the colors because all this area here is more than 0 0.5 uh, and now comes the rescale so if you you played with the colors like that a bit too much and you want to get back your initial colors you click on rescale to data range and you're getting that now the good news is that those small buttons, which are very small here, are also here uh, inside your, uh, just below the open, uh, the open document and the save document buttons. You have these uh, these buttons, which will help you to to play with the scaling. So uh, another interesting thing um, is that if you zoom on a particular area and you just want to know, you, you want to see the full scale of color in this area, you have this button. Uh, rescale to visible data range and what it does is that it adjusts the color just for your view so as you see uh, I have the rainbow just on the area I was looking at nice and finally the last button is the rescale to data range over all time step so here I have, a, I have only one time step because I have a linear static analysis but suppose that I'm doing a non-linear analysis a lot of time step Every time step may have a custom range, so if I want to rescale all the time steps, well, I need to use this one. Okay, now, now, what if I don't like uh, the the blue, the red, uh, all of that? I want to change the color. Where nothing is more easy, just go in the col color map mapping data view and double click on the color, and you get access to all the range of colors, so you can pick whatever you want. So, well, I'm putting really, uh, and then you can map your model with the colors you want. Uh, but maybe a more clever option would be to use this, 
with the small heart uh, shoes preset this is nice and here you get the full range of presets this is really nice so cool to warm for example let's say what it gives me oh beautiful rainbow desaturated this is wonderful uh, uh, what do I have more oh, so many so many color maps to try so it really depends on what you do sometimes you want to call cool and hot if you're doing thermal analysis and uh, you you want to display temperature with cool and hot or radiation uh, black body oh this is nice this is nice and uh, everything is already uh, entered as a preset so that's very uh, intuitive now if you like particularly one type of uh, color like me uh, you can you can save it as default so I think it's uh, one of the buttons here save current color map setting as default uh, so either for a specific array or for all the kind of arrays that you have and you will always get 12 uh, colors you can you can increase a bit more if you want if you want 24 that's fine as well right but 250 it's a bit too much for me but anyway Okay, that's all I have to say about colors. So I think uh, now you can you can try and get a fancy view of your model with that. Thanks for watching. So if you're on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fe4all.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.